Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a computer running Ubuntu 13.04 with a GNOME desktop environment, and you can see that it's got the Chromium web browser, Firefox web browser, LibreOffice, and uh, other basic tools. You can open a terminal if that's the sort of thing you're likely to do. And uh, it, basically, it's a desktop computer running Linux, but it's a tiny desktop computer running Linux. This is called the uh, Rycomagic MK8024LE, which is a long name for a very tiny device. It uh, has an ARM-based processor, and this is the sort of device that normally would run Google Android, and it even has the Android logo on it, and it's designed to plug into your TV to let you run Android apps on a big screen. For the last couple of months, uh, people have been uh, installing custom versions of Ubuntu and other operating systems on it to uh, turn them into full-fledged Linux desktop PCs, and this is one of the first models that actually ships with uh, Pikuntu preloaded. Pikuntu is a version of Ubuntu designed for these tiny ARM-based computers. This uh, particular model has micro SD card slot, two micro USB ports, uh, including one of which is actually used for power supply, full-size USB port, and an HDMI port. And HDMI is going to my monitor here. Uh, I don't have speakers on this monitor, but if you used it with a TV, you could hear audio as well. Uh, it has an ARM-based uh, uh, Rockchip RK3188 quad-core ARM Cortex-A9 processor, 2 gigs of RAM, and it's available with 8 gigs or 16 gigs of storage. And uh, so what can you do with a device like this? Well, let's go ahead and uh, take a look. Let's go ahead and load the Chromium web browser here. And you can see it uh, acts a lot like a desktop PC. It can take a little while longer than you might like to load certain things, and it doesn't do a great job with flash content, but for the most part, it gets the job done for uh, basic web browsing. Uh, more advanced things, like say, streaming video from YouTube, It'll do that. It won't necessarily do that as well as a um, machine with a faster processor or with support for hardware accelerated video playback, something that's actually missing here. So um, high definition video from YouTube doesn't really want to play, but uh, lower resolution videos do seem to work okay. Including ads. So uh, you can see that the ad's playing okay. If you went to full screen, it might not do as well. Let's go ahead and wait for the full video to load first, though. Now again, it's, uh, since there's no support for hardware accelerated video, it's just the processor, uh, the CPU, that's handling this video playback. So it's uh, using software decoding. Frame rates are not too bad, but that's at 360p resolution. If I went up to a high resolution, it wouldn't work so well. And even full screen at low resolutions, I find playback gets a little choppy. So if you wanted the machine for gaming or for lots of video, this wouldn't necessarily be the best choice. Um, that said, it is a surprisingly capable little device in terms of more simple tasks. So you saw web browsing works okay. Let's go ahead and uh, open some Office software. So we've got a spreadsheet application, and occasional lag, there we go. And let's do some sums. So that works. Again, it's not necessarily the most efficient, but it does work. graphics applications. I went ahead and used the uh, GIMP image editor. Uh, so I've been using this actually for a couple of hours today to uh, create and edit uh, images and blog posts and do some research with multiple browser tabs open at once. Uh, using the Chromium web browser, as you saw, uh, you can do web video. You're not going to be able to do uh, Netflix, at least not out of the box here. So we've got image editing capabilities, 
And if you're looking for something a little bit geekier, let's go ahead and load a terminal window to apt get update. So apt get works, you can use the Synaptic Package Manager to install applications. Uh, or you can also use the Ubuntu Software Center if that's more your speed. Other software that comes preloaded, we've got a Disk Usage Analyzer, Midnight Commander, File Manager, uh, Power Statistics, uh, VLC Media Player, Transmission BitTorrent Client, Shotwell, Photo Manager, and a couple of games including Solitaire, Mahjong, Mines, and Sudoku. Um, again, it's not necessarily going to be your best choice for games that require more graphics. I found on this type of device that playing things like Tux Racer just uh, doesn't work. 3D graphics are, uh, are just too difficult for it. So, while there are many uh, games and uh, apps and uh, software that's that are available for download and installation, the uh, ARM-based processor isn't quite up to uh, to the challenge of some of those things. But card games, puzzle games, uh, simple games like that are probably going to work just fine. So uh, there is a quick look at uh, Picuntu or Ubuntu 13.04 running on the MK802 4LE or Linux edition. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and you can find more of my thoughts at lilliputing.com. Um, overall, it's, a, it's an interesting little device, and I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for use as a primary desktop computer, but if you have uh, sort of low-power needs, if you're looking for a, a system for basic web browsing, basic tasks, it can do. Or if you have a more specific uh, purpose in mind, something where you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on a computer, and something that sells for closer to $100 might do, then it's uh, an interesting option as well. This particular model is sold by Ryko Magic UK, and you have to pay uh, in uh, in uh, British pounds sterling in order to get it. It's not the cheapest device of its type, but it's one of the first that comes with Ubuntu preloaded. You don't have to install it yourself. You don't have to worry about configuring the drivers. Uh, wireless worked out of the box when I set this up, and uh, yeah. So again, first look. Uh, I might have more details coming up later, but I just wanted to show you a little bit of what you can do with this little ARM-based computer running a full desktop operating system.